Howdy Panthers! Welcome back to our YouTube channel, What's Next Panthers? Today we're going to be covering Dallas County Promise, how to keep, complete the pledge as well as the partner institutions along with Dallas County Promise uh, and how to find the eligibility uh, requirements and things of the sort. So let's get started. So what is DCP or Dallas County Promise? This is a program that partners with several uh, colleges and universities uh, with DCP to cover the cost of tuition post financial aid. So what I mean by this is after you submit your FAFSA, if you are awarded, let's say $2,000 to attend the college or university of your choice, and it costs $4,000 to attend said university or college, then if you are a Promise Scholar with one of these partner institutions, DCP will come in to cover the other 2000 owed in the cost of tuition and fees. So it's kind of like a last dollar scholarship. So again, it will cover what you owe in tuition and fees if um, your financial aid does not cover it all. So the partner institutions are the ones listed here on the screen. Uh, we are excited to include three new ones this year, which is UTD, UTA, and UNT, which is the bottom row. So the eligibility requirements and to become a Promise Scholar for those three universities are not listed on the site right now because they are finalizing it with DCP. But as soon as we know in that we know that information we will share that with you all so make sure to um, keep up with our social media as well as our newsletters in order to know that information also keep um, up with the dallascountypromise.org in order to um, see that information finalized on there also take note at the top left corner of the partner institution is Dallas College and Dallas College um, used to be referred to as DCCCD but is now um, uh, referred to as Dallas College and this encompasses the seven um, separate uh, campus sites so Mountain View, Brook, Brookhaven, and those um, other five um, campuses, again, they're listed on their site on Dallas County Promise, so you can um, access that information or reach out to us and we can give you that information as well. So without uh, further ado, we're going to watch this um, quick YouTube video that's going to walk us through the pledge walkthrough. But before I do that, I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment. Um, and then I'm going to share again and we're going to click the YouTube video and this will take us to. This is the main page that you will see when you enter the pledge application. If you already have an account, log in at the top right corner. Otherwise, read the information below and get started. As you scroll through the page, you will find information about the Dallas County Promise Pledge that includes links to our website, a link to our general email address, and a list of participating high schools for the 2020 to 2021 school year. You'll start your pledge at the bottom of the page. If you already created an account, continue your saved pledge from the button below. The first thing you will need to do is select your graduation year and your high school. Enter your student ID, first name, last name, and date of birth as it appears in your high school record. This information is used to verify that you do indeed attend a partner high school. Once you've successfully entered the information as it appears in your high school record, you should see the following page. Here, you will need to enter additional information, including middle name or a preferred first name. We highly encourage you to enter a cell phone number if you have one. This will ensure that you will receive important pledge and promise related texts like deadline reminders. If you don't have a cell phone number, you can check the I do not have a cell phone number box. For email addresses, make sure to enter a personal email address that you check frequently. Please do not use high school or district issued email addresses. 
High school and district issued email addresses expire after graduation and you will miss important communications when you no longer have access to that email. It's also important that you don't use a parent email address here. Your pledged username will be the email address that you listed and this cannot be updated by you later on. Create a password that you can remember using the listed password requirements. You will be asked to confirm your password and the two must match. We highly encourage you to write down your new password and keep it in a safe place. Here, you will select a security question from the drop down menu and type in your answer. Please be aware that the answer you enter is case sensitive, which means capitalization is important. Once you've finished entering in the required information, click the green Create Account and Continue button. You don't have to finish the pledge in one sitting, but we highly recommend that you do. However, if you need to pause your application, you can click the yellow Create Account and Exit button. Just remember that the pledge will not be complete or submitted if you do that. Clicking the red Exit Without Saving button will delete all the previous information and no account will be created. If you've created your account successfully, you will receive a confirmation in the inbox of the email address that you shared with us. Now that you've created an account, you can begin the pledge. You should see your information along the top. If you do not see your information or if the information is incorrect, please alert our team immediately at info at dallascountypromise.org. As you read along through each deadline, check each box along the left to confirm that you have read and understand that these three steps are required to remain Promise eligible. Biographical information includes items such as social security number, address, and demographics. If you have a social security number, it is critical that you enter it in this application. If you have one but do not know it, please note that you will need it for any admission and financial aid applications in addition to the pledge. If you don't have a social security number, please mark the appropriate box. Students without a social security number are still potentially eligible for Promise, but you will likely need to complete a Texas application for state financial aid or TESFA. Next, enter the street address where you live and receive mail. Please note that eligibility for the Promise Scholarship will not be determined by the address that you enter here. You will also be asked for ethnicity, race, and gender. You can answer based on how you identify and the answers you provide or decline to provide will not affect your eligibility for Promise in any way. In Part C, Parent and Legal Guardian Information, you need to provide the name, cell phone number, and email of your parent or legal guardian. The email provided for this section must be different than the one provided in the student section. Then, select the preferred language for the parent or legal guardian. Currently, we offer communications primarily in English and Spanish. For Part D, your high school information should be pre-populated here based on the information you provided when your account was created. For the College Readiness section, you will be asked if you have participated in any Dallas College programs listed below. If so, please provide your Dallas College ID. It is helpful to include the ID for matching purposes but you can click the I do not know my Dallas College ID if you don't recall what it might be. You can also select none of the above slash not sure if you have not engaged with Dallas College or if you do not remember. For Part E, College and Career Plans, select up to two options for the career pathways that most interest you. These choices are not binding, but they are helpful for our team to know. If you're undecided, just check I don't know. For the what is your current college slash career plan question, you can choose one option. If you choose the transfer option, you will be prompted to enter the college or university that you intend to transfer to. This is optional and you are not required to complete it. None of these choices are binding and you will be free to change your mind later on. Select the Promise Partners who you're interested in attending in 2021. You can click the Promise Partner Colleges link to see the most current options. If you check Dallas College, you can select a first and second choice campus that you would like to attend. You can also select four year institutions that you're interested in attending, including some new options whose scholarship details are still being finalized. 
If you are interested in other non-partner colleges, you can also indicate that here. You can indicate here as well if you do not plan to enroll in college. For Part F, Release and Consent, you are granting us permission to share your information with our partner colleges and universities, including financial aid submission data, enrollment information, and other items which will be used to support you in enrolling in post-secondary institutions and completing your degree or credential. You will have to read the next four statements here and check the corresponding boxes. This means you are agreeing to sharing the information provided with partner institutions. All students are entitled to a copy of the records transferred between institutions and have the right to challenge the accuracy of those records. Here, you also agree to a liability clause and reserve the right to revoke the authorization to share your educational records by notifying the financial aid office of the higher education institution you've chosen to attend. For Part G, Electronic Signature, check the box to indicate that you agree that the information contained within the pledge is accurate to the best of your knowledge. This section will serve as your electronic signature. Click the green Save and Continue button to enter the pledge review page. As before, you can click the yellow Save and Exit button here, which will allow you to complete the pledge at a later time, but it will not be counted as completed or submitted if you do so. You'll have to remember to come back and complete it. If you click the red exit without saving button, you will delete all the previous information and no pledge information will be saved. Once you click the green button, you will have the opportunity to review the information that you've provided. Read each section carefully and make sure your data is correct. If you need to make any changes, check the gray make corrections or additions to pledge form button. This will take you back to the pledge so you can make corrections. If no corrections are needed, select the green Submit Pledge Now button to complete and submit the pledge. The pledge is not complete until you select this green button. If you are taken to the confirmation page, that means you have successfully completed the pledge and you will see the next steps needed to become a Dallas Promise Scholar. Now that the process is complete, you can click the gray Log Out button at the bottom or simply close the window. Congratulations on taking the next step towards your bright future. So with that, I will head back into the play, I mean, our PowerPoint. So again, if you wanted to rewatch that video, I would highly encourage you. It walks you step by step. Again, it's just a quick video so you can um, go through the pledge yourself. Um, so again, the three steps to become a Promise Scholar is taking the pledge, applying to one of the partner institutions, um, submitting a FAFSA, and if you want to follow through with attending one of these universities and complete the DCP, you would have to um, apply, enroll into the classes at the said university or college by July 31st. So again, this can be found on their website. And then as you're completing that pledge, it does give you the dates that you have to complete these steps. A reminder, this um, pledge is non-binding, meaning that you are not obligated by any means to go um, through with it. If at the end you were wanting to go to another university or you wanted to go into the military or things of the like, then this, um, you will not have any consequences for um, backing out of the pledge. So for el eligibility for the institution, we're going to go on the site and I'm gonna show you how to find it. So again, we're gonna go to Dallas Covered Commons and if you go to the homepage, so this would be the homepage that you find. If you go under student, and then Dallas County Promise Partner Colleges and Universities, click onto that. So that this will then list the um, partner institutions. It does not have the three 
um, other ones listed on their site right now because again they're going through the criteria in which um, he would be eligible for a B diploma. I also um, list some information at the top to give you some background. Um, you can click on Dallas College. And this will take you directly to their page so you can get to know about the institution a little more and it does that for the rest of them here. You can then see the um, criteria, the eligibility requirements for first year college students graduating with the high school diploma and it's listed right here. Um, graduate students um, graduating with an associate's degree. So it gives you the list of the eligibility requirements as well. And then these are for current uh, Promise Scholars attending Dallas co uh, College. So again, you would not have to worry about that, but you can check the policy document for um, updates. And then if we go back here, if we click on this, this will take you to the Dallas County Promise Policies and Procedures. So from here, it lists this inner university, so Dallas um, College now, but it used to be referred to as DCCCD. If you go to page four, it will walk you through the eligibility you would need for DCCD or Dallas College now that um, it's um, current name. So again, you can walk through this and see a Promise Scholar at DCCCD or Dallas College and see the criteria. So again, I just wanted to show you where you would access that and it lists um, all the universities. So UNT, South Methodist University, and so forth. So let's go back to the presentation. Again, this is our contact information. Don't hesitate to uh, reach out to us. We really hope um, these videos are helping you along with the process. Uh, please let us know if there are any other videos you want us to put up to help you answer any questions that you might have. And again, I hope this video is helpful. Remember, um, the first 50 seniors to send us a Dallas County Promise um, confirmation page of completing the pledge will get a um, swag bag from us full of treats and other things. So make sure that you're submitting that um, screenshot to DHS Go Center at DuncanvilleISD.org. Or if you have any questions, please email us there. Um, I hope this was helpful and you all have a great day.